Okay, so now we're ready to transfer this, this cylinder from the bat onto my wear board here. What you want to do, once again, now that I cleaned my hands before, they're nice and dry now. You don't have to get them too clean, they just have to not have chunks and be all wet. You're going to take your wire tool, a nice straight wire tool, see? It doesn't have any kinks or any funky stuff in it. You want to wrap it around super tight, as tight as you can get it without cutting your fingers off. And you want to put it down flat on the wear board. Pull that sucker tight. And then give your wheel a little bit of a go, just like that. And then just give it boom. Okay? Well, you want to move fast, but smooth. So get it right up underneath there. Give it a twist. And put it down. And that's basically the transfer from here to here without using those clunky tools. You can do that with bowls. You can do that. You can do that with most small objects like that. And, it, and it'll, once you put it on the board, it might seem like it's getting a little funky when you pick it up. But once you put it on the board, it finds its, it finds its center and, it, and it, it dries up. And you won't even notice that it, when you picked it up, it went like a little funky. So let me show you <clears throat> once again about how much clay this thing left on the, the, the wire tool left on the, the bat. Because it won't go all the way down to the bat. It's all that. So that's when you want to consider how deep your bottom's going to be, because this wire tool is so thick. So you want to keep that in mind. Because when I was running this under there, I saw that I got right there. I couldn't have gone any deeper. If I would have gone any deeper, I would have cut through my bottom, and that's annoying. So now we've got our transfer. We're ready for cleanup. <laughs>